In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create on the left side of scale and on the right side of scale, but have this scale in percentages related to whatever we have here. And what is very important, of course, is to make sure that these grid lines are nicely aligned with each other. So we always have a proper 10% difference here, showing it all here as well. So let's start to look how we can do this. So let's look how to create value scale and percentage scale on the left and right side in Chart.js. First thing what I want to do, of course, is to get the default code or the boiler template. You can find it on chartjs3.com getting started, this specific link here, which you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on the site, scroll down and copy this default code here. Copy this. And if you want to understand what this code all does, make sure you watch this video here. Then I'm going to paste that all in here. And once I have that, I want to cut out the title, put the title in here, and then I want to expand the size of the chart. I'll make this 80%, save, refresh. There we are. So now we have a nice big chart. And what I want to do is now I want to have this scale put it on the other side, or basically I want to have a second scale here on the right side. To do that, luckily it's quite straightforward. We have to go down here, and then we have here the Y scale. I'm going to put a comma here, and I'm going to say this is the right scale and you can give any object name you want so it doesn't matter so much what i want to make sure is it will always start at zero because this should be a percentage scale so then i'm going to say a position and this position will be set on the right side by default if you don't specify it will be on the left side so if i save this refresh as you can see we're now already having a left and right size a uh, side for the scale but what I don't like here is you can see here the lines of these grid lines are not aligned. I want them aligned and I want to have here a nice percentage from 0 to 100. And every increment would be 10%. So what I'm going to do here is comma, enter. And then in here, I'm going to say here ticks. And then in the ticks, we're going to say count. And we're going to force here 11 items. If I save this, refresh, nothing happens here. Why? It already has 11 items. If you already count from 0 to 1, if this is an increment of 10, then the last one here will be 0. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 11. Here, we have a different story. Here's an increment of 2 every time, but what happens? This has only 10 ticks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to force that into 11. Comma, enter, save. Refresh. Now we have this nicely aligned. Of course, the numbers here will not be that aligned. So you have to accept this tiny difference. But that's acceptable in my case because the percentage is one that is should be easier to read compared to the absolutes. Here, that should be quite acceptable. All right. So once we have this, what I want to do now is I want to put a comma here and then I want to convert the tick here and multiply it by 100. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say here callback. And then I'm going to create a function here. And this function will be having a certain value. We're going to put in here three arguments. We're going to put in a value index and ticks, although we don't need all of them. And then a callback functionality. So we use the uh, function error expression. Make sure we have here the parentheses nested around it. Enter. And then in here, I'm going to say return the value. And the value is basically the tick value we have. So if I save this now and then refresh, nothing truly happens here. But then what I'm going to do is here, multiply by 100 and save that again, refresh. And now you can see we're now increasing it by 100. Finally, I want to make sure that there is a percentage symbol. So I'm going to say plus for concatenation, quotation, percentage. I'll just put a semicolon here. That's just a bit more neat. Save this, refresh. And there we are. We have a nicely aligned tick on left and right side with the nice grid lines aligned and we have here the percentages and that's basically how we can convert this of course we could do something with the tool tips but i have a separate video for that so if you're still interested in customizing the data here and percentages as well so we have them both in that case i'm going to recommend you to watch this video here how to customize the tooltip data in chart.js this video will show you exactly how to do that